what I'd like to do is explain how the Academy came to this. It's very clear to me from the meeting we had in Cape Town uh, in uh, October uh, why the club comes to this, and I think we're in a strong convergence. But I'd like to give you a little background uh, of why we feel this is so important in the Academy. Back in uh, 2013, we were invited by the UN in Geneva to conduct a conference. Ernst and Anders were participating from the club uh, on the need for a new paradigm to address global social global challenges. And the, covering everything from finance and economy to social, political, ecological security and so forth. And though we had hoped to get to the new paradigm, most of what happened in that meeting was talking about the problems uh, and the need for it rather than uh, getting us to where we need to go. And since 2013 in the academy, we've been working on how do we go beyond talking about the problems as the club has been doing very seriously uh, with regard to uh, the ecological challenges in great detail. And so I'm giving you a summary, very brief summary of what we have concluded over the last five, six years of discussion if that's necessary. And some of this is going to be very obvious, and that's the point of it. And some of it is going to focus on why we are here today in the club. It's obvious that the challenges we face, uh, including maybe especially the coronavirus, for example, as well as climate change, is global in nature and there's no way we can handle this on our own at the national or local level. There has to be global multilateral co uh, cooperation. Uh, it's a theme that comes up in all our discussions in the club that we have to understand the complexity of the world system we live in and all the interdependencies and everything and without that. Uh, so I'm repeating what we all know already. Uh, we need policies that are not just sectoral and piecemeal. We need policies that recognize the interdependence and interrelatedness of things and that are not going to solve one problem by creating another. Uh, uh, and we know how difficult that is. We need institutional coordination. And this is a problem from the local level to the global level, where our UN agencies also tend to act independently of one another, where we really need a le an unprecedented level of coordination if we're going to get results. We need another theme of both the academy and the club is that we need systematic, synthetic, and even integral thinking. We can't be using the old linear analytic uh, uh, dividing uh, uh, frame of reference if we're going to understand the problems or the solutions to them. So it's not enough we come up with comprehensive policies. We actually need to teach ourselves and in our educational system a different emphasis in the way we think. And we need, as Petra mentioned, which is a core theme of this meeting, we need to understand the process of social transformation. And we decided for this first meeting, we're not going to talk theory. We're really going to look at examples and see what we can learn from those. And then in the next subsequent meeting, and we'll talk about the possibility of subsequent to the subsequent also, because uh, an an, an, a new invitation has come up, we'll really say what we've learned about it and what do we think is a, a more a effective conception of transformation. And of the work of the, the we need a transformative leadership uh, that's going to bring about, that's going to consciously initiate this process. Uh, so what is that process? I just wanted to illustrate very quickly by using climate change just because it's so obvious. Uh, we are, now the world is largely aware that we have a problem. We have even an existential threat. And that's, it took a long time to get us to this point. That's critical. Uh, we need to understand the complex interdependencies and stop debating whether human beings are contributing to it or whether it's a completely related to the sunspots. Uh, that we hope we've passed that to a large extent. We need to look for practical, viable solutions like 
eliminating dependence on fossil fuel, and there's a whole long list, I'm only illustrating them. We need to have policy, effective policy formulations, like a carbon tax, eliminating the perverse fossil fuel incentives and so forth. We need institutional change, change in metrics, legislation and so forth. All of these are things I think we all agree on and are uh, and focusing on, but the question is what else do we need? And that, what I would uh, say, what Petra was referring to was, we need to understand the social aspect of this process. How do we build broad social acceptance and support? How do we build the political will, especially in democracies? How do we unleash social energy and initiative? And ultimately, how do we generate a movement that can really be transformative? And these are the, uh, uh, I, in one simple way of looking at it, to kind of uh, say, we're not here for this meeting to talk about the solution, uh, the technical solutions to climate change or the legal solutions. We are here to talk about what are the ways in which we move from policy or to actually implementation and impact that will get us results. And that's how we conceive of this, uh, this meeting. Uh, just to wrap it up, uh, the Academy project will end or will culminate in a conference at the UN in uh, October uh, for two-day conference. I'm mentioning this now and I did mention it in Cape Town because we would very much like to have the club as a partner uh, in this event. We'd like to be a platform where your ideas can be projected. Uh, uh, in the context of global transformation and the kind of leadership we need. We have created 14 working groups, uh, and in fact, club members are already uh, Ernst and uh, Carlos and Petra, uh, and a number of others are already actively uh, involved in COVID, being conveners of some of these working groups. I'm happy to share more information with the rest of you. We would invite and welcome your participation in the working groups that will be working out the content for the conference in October.